Hi guys, welcome back to Saving Salvage and welcome to part 7 of the 2012 Audi RS3 build. Again, apologies, I am just absolutely stacked with work at the minute and I have not had any time again this week to work on the car. Um, but what we will do is, it's only going to be a small update again, but what we will do hopefully is get the front end back together. So I've now got the condenser that's, that arrived um, Wednesday. So we can now fully put the front end back together, um, get the inner cooler on, um, test fit everything, make sure everything's good. And uh, um, what else we got? Yeah, so we've got the radiator, condenser, intercooler, crash bar, lock carrier, get that all on. Um, got the radiator bracket, the additional radiator bracket as well, so we'll get that bolted on properly. Uh, right, we've got to crack on because it, oof. Don't have a watch, but it must be eight, nine, ten o'clock, and I am hungry, so come on. The intercooler um, outlet pipes, you can see one just below this radio. One here, oh, fantastic. One here, and obviously our new one that we fitted here, and I was getting a bit confused uh, of where the pipes go. I was like, okay, where are these pipes supposed to fit? Um, I had a quick look online, and there is supposed to be a hole here and here and the pipe the pipes are supposed to come through the hole and the intercooler then sits on the front here uh, for some reason my new lock carrier doesn't have holes the holes in so i'm now gonna have to cut those out Well, that's the holes all cut. Not the best hole cutting in the world, but it'll do the job. Nice holes now. Look, you can see the intercooler outlet on both sides now. So the hoses will poke nicely through these holes and the intercooler will bolt to the front. Perfect. and the lock carrier. I've just unwrapped the new condenser. Um, these pipes are separate, it's not included in the, the, the condenser so luckily they're undamaged so I removed them from the new one. However I have just gone to fit it and realised that because I've now fitted the pipes, the pipes have to come through this gap here and onto the condenser, so I'm now going to have to remove the pipes again just to be able to fit the condenser. <sighs> just bolted the condenser back on. It was actually easier in the end to um, remove the radiator again from the lock carrier because although there's two bolts there for the condenser that you can gain access to, there's two bolts here look, behind this panel here that you can't get access to. So in the end, that to take the radio back out was actually not too bad. So that's now back on. A lock carrier I've put in with four bolts just to hold it on. Got our water cooler on there. Now I'm gonna fit my intercooler pipes 
which are aftermarket, my first aftermarket part. I've got some red boost hoses, um, purely because the Audi ones were about 200 quid a side, and I needed two, whereas these were 115 quid for the lot. And they're uprated as well, so not got not got a problem with fitting uprated parts, so that's fine. I did order them in black, but uh, the guy phoned me and said he didn't have any black in stock, so there was red or blue, and seeing as the interior is red, it had to be red. So we got red. I don't think my holes are big enough for the hoses. Unless they're uprated hoses and they're bigger bore, um, which I don't think they are. But yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. So I'm gonna have to cut some more, cut some more of the um, lock carrier away. It's not too bad that side, but I'll, I don't want it rubbing and rubbing through. So I'll cut some more out that side as well. Right, that's the front end back on now, guys. Got the radiator in place. It's nice and solid in place. Got the fan cowling, uh, radiator, int intercooler, and condenser all back in position. I've fitted the crash bar. That's back on. Intercooler's on. Um, it does still need a few adjustments. It's still tight on that side. Um, a little bit tight on this side, but I've just remembered I don't have the rear dog bone mount in the gearbox yet. This one here, look, and that, once that's in, the whole engine and gearbox will push back slightly. Um, so when it's pushed back slightly, it should relieve some pressure. Um, but once I get that in, I can then trim up, trim up these properly and get them properly fitted. But other than that, that's the front end on. Beautiful. Right, that's it guys, that's it for part seven. Thank you very much for watching as usual. Um, in the next episode, I will be introducing a, another car. Um, I wasn't gonna introduce this car, uh, I was gonna keep it separate, but I do want to do a comparison video um, with the RS3 project build once it's, um, once it's all fixed and ready to go. So I'm gonna introduce the car. Um, you'll see that in the next episode, so please do like and subscribe, um, every, every little helps. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.